Have you ever looked up at a giant airplane and thought, how on earth does that thing not fall down? I mean, it's basically a flying bus. Today, we're breaking down the science of flight in the simplest and most entertaining way possible. Airplane wings are shaped in a special way, curved on top, flatter on the bottom. When the plane moves forward, air flows faster above the wing and slower below it. This creates something called lift, which is just a fancy word for the air pushing the plane up. Fun fact, without that wing shape, an airplane is just an expensive bus with a bad travel route. Wings can't do the job alone. That's where engines come in. Jet engines or propellers push the plane forward, creating thrust. The faster the plane goes, the more lift the wings make. Basically, engines are the hype men of the wings. They keep the party going. Flying is all about balance. There are four main forces. Lift pushes up. Weight, gravity, pulls down. Thrust pushes forward. Drag tries to slow you down. As long as lift beats weight and thrust beats drag, you're flying. Simple as that. Okay, but how do pilots actually steer this flying machine? They use parts called ailerons, elevators, and rudders. Sounds complicated, but really, it's just like playing a giant video game controller. Tilt left, you turn left. Pull back, you go up. Push forward, you dive down. The only difference? In a video game, you can restart. In real life, let's not try that. So the next time you're on a plane, staring out the window, remember, it's just wings making lift, engines giving thrust, gravity trying to pull you down, and drag trying to hold you back. A perfect balance of forces is what keeps you flying at 35,000 feet. And that's how airplanes fly. No magic, just science. Now here's the real question. Would you rather sit by the window seat or the aisle seat? Drop your answer in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more fun explanations.